there's no comparison between TikTok and other social media apps. It's a threat to our national security. My role in the prior administration was under Secretary of State. I was leading the efforts of the Clean Network. One of the things that we announced was Clean Store. What Clean Store means that any applications that are a threat to our national security cannot be in an app store. TikTok came in under that. We were trying to move at light speed and it was a complicated issue, but this issue is not going away. And here we are right back where we started from. TikTok, uh, you know, poses a problem and an issue. And so we have concerns about that as it relates to Americans' data, collecting Americans' data and the potential national uh, security risk. You've got to look at everything as a whole. It's not just TikTok. There'll be something that comes after that. The way we looked at apps like TikTok and Tencent is that it's an extension of Huawei which is really the backbone for their surveillance state that enables genocide. These apps, these technologies are an extension of that. Don't just look at TikTok, look at all these apps. From six nations, China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, Venezuela, and Cuba, if it is a foreign-based technology that poses a national security risk, we're gonna give the Secretary of Commerce the ability to do a series of mitigation up to and including banning. With the Restrict Act, give the authority to the Secretary of Commerce to make these kind of decisions and make these kind of actions. I don't mind if, uh, whether it's Microsoft or somebody else, a big company, a secure company, very very American company, buy it. To sell the company or to sell the, the U.S. division of ByteDance TikTok, I knew that that was never going to happen. You just can't separate all the data. Chinese Communist Party is going to hold on to that algorithm. That was really kind of a delay tactic, the way ByteDance played that. Since I've been CEO of this company, I've not had any discussions with Chinese government officials. Look, both sides of the aisle understand that the biggest threat we have are these authoritarian regimes, and they're even banded together. From the data it collects to the content it controls, TikTok is a grave threat of foreign influence in American life. The platform also threatens the health, privacy, and security of the American people. And I'm not convinced that the benefits outweigh the risks that it poses to Americans in its present form. We put forward the CHIPS and Science Act. We did it with Senator Young and Senator Schumer together. There's nothing that can unite a nation more than a common enemy. I expect to see continued bipartisan support. A sense of urgency and speed is critical. That's the most important currency. They have gotten so aggressive, and I don't see General Secretary Xi slowing down anytime soon. If the Chinese can weaponize a balloon, think what they can do with 150 million American TikTok users at their mercy. This is the biggest unifying issue, not only on Capitol Hill, but I think between the two administrations. That continuity of policy is so important because if there's anything that scares the heck out of General Secretary Xi is the United United States. I think both administrations recognize that TikTok is being weaponized by the Chinese government and both recognize that the biggest existential threat to our national security is the Chinese Communist Party. President Biden institutionalized capital market sanctions on the Chinese, which was something that we started, which had never been done before. That continuity of policy is really, really critical. It's important that we look at the big picture here. And that was the thing that we developed with our global economic security strategy, is this is really the playbook to advance freedom and defend against techno authoritarianism, which is the main tool. It is the tool that China's using.